first U.S. built Airbus A321 is now in the hands of its owner, JetBlue. The plane was formally delivered during a ceremony this morning. News 5's Peter Albrecht joins us now live from the Brooklyn Aeroplex with more. Pete? Hey, Devin, we've had a lot of big days and big events throughout this whole Airbus process. In 2012, when they announced that Airbus was coming to Mobile, 2013, they broke down. Uh, broke ground. 2014, the facility opened. Last year, we had the big components coming in from Europe, but maybe today the biggest day of them all as today that first plane is delivered. Yes, we have a Mobile made, an Alabama made, a U.S. made A321 that's been turned over to a major airline, and soon the plane known as Blues Mobile will be in that jet blue fleet flying passengers across the U.S. and Latin America. It certainly is a milestone for Airbus, for for the city of Mobile and for the state of Alabama. We are, have firmly planted the flag for aerospace in the state, and I think that what we're going to see from events like today is Alabama is on the world stage. And a really nice touch today is that the 350 or so Airbus employees, the actual people who built this first A321 were featured front and uh, center in this ceremony. Not one politician spoke today, and that is highly unusual for events like this. So the next six planes will be delivered to American Airlines, but today the first Mobile-made A321 goes to JetBlue. Reporting live at Brooklyn, Peter Albrecht, News 5. Thanks, Pete. News 5's Bill Riles is also out today at the Brooklyn Aeroplex for that delivery, and he joins us now live from the newsroom with more. Bill? Well, of course, Devin Pete touched on it. This is the very first Airbus plane made on American soil. There will be more to come. By the end of next year, the company will be assembling four planes a month, and as we've reported, the next one in the chute will go to American Airlines. So some are wondering about employment with the company and if Airbus is living up to promises made when the European airplane maker located its first plant at the U.S. And Alan McCarter says they're right on track. Well, we've got uh, 350 here in, in the building. We've got about 470 on the campus. Uh, so we're right on track with our hiring. Of course, we're going to be hiring a lot more because as we build our rates up, uh, we'll require more employees. Emma Carter says the company is on track to bring employment up to the promised 1,000 people once they're cranking out those four airplanes a month. And of course, as demand for the airplanes goes up, and there's a lot of it in North America for the single aisle A320 family, and these, of course, A321s, the bigger of the aircraft, then there's the possibility of expanding that number to eight airplanes a month in the future right here in the city of Mobile. Devin?